has Kent made an impact on the community here? Kent's been here for so long that like millions of people know him. I was, I was at my doctor's and she's like, oh, well, what school do you go to? Just make me small talk. And I'm like, oh, I'm a hero on Iron Track. And she's like, oh, who is your track coach? Because I, I once was in the humanities class with this one dude who uh, coached cross country. I'm like, Kent over me. She's like, she freaked out because she's like, he's still teaching there. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's crazy. I had a lot of friends who just taught and some who just coached, but I never could see just doing one or the other. I always thought they went hand in hand, and the student athlete, like yourself, um, was, was my experience at Huron, and I enjoyed every minute of it, and I never really understood what teacher burnout was because every day was a new day and fresh day and I loved every minute of it. Who was Ken? Uh, to me he was definitely a mentor, um, a leader, you know, he really pushed me a lot to be the best I can and you know be honest with myself about how much and how far I can go. Uh, Kent's our coach, the oldest person still working at the school. He used to teach humanities and now he just coaches cross country. Yeah, how do you learn to be a coach? Well I was very lucky. In high school I had one of the top high school teachers probably in the nation, certainly in the state I grew up in, in Missouri, and he was a very strong academician. He had received honors as the top physics teacher in the country, high school physics, and he was an outstanding mentor as a coach and as a teacher, and I learned a lot from him. Then I went to college, and it Kansas University. I had arguably the top international coach in the world, Bill Easton, who was quite different from my high school coach, but an outstanding uh, uh, academic in the field of uh, running and track, and I learned a lot from him. I came to Ann Arbor, and Lou Holloway, which Holloway Field is named after, <coughs> was a mentor of mine and he was <clears throat> an outstanding strong personality great Mr. Phys Ed, Mr. Uh, coach for Ann Arbor High for the whole state so I learned a lot from those individuals. What is one thing that he gave you that will stay with you? I think advice. He All his like little quotes and Kentisms just kind of stick with you and then also just things like he gives us the packet at the beginning of year showing like how to eat and stuff and I still go I have that packet on my bookshelf I'll go and be like oh what should I have for breakfast <laughs> I've been around him a lot so I've like gotten to learn from him a lot and he's just like an incredible man so being able to just experience him has taught me a lot about living I, he just enforces good habits in you that you can't really deny if you want to get better Improvement is not guaranteed through hard work, but if you put in the hard work, you have a chance to improve. And so there's sort of a sense of self-sacrifice and hard work, and I think he really instills that into a lot of his runners. Just like constantly remembering to just go after it. Like there's gonna be days where you're not gonna be like 100%, but you still need to do your best that you can at that time. Has Kent made an impact on the community, and if so, how? He has affected so many people, and um, we could see that. I remember we had a workout, and this old woman came by, and she's like, Oh, yeah, Kent, you used to teach me. I was like, What? <laughs> she looks older than him. <laughs> like, that doesn't, like, it doesn't make sense how someone could be doing this for so long. And especially, especially, he, made, he makes an impact on young people. And I think that's something that's very important because the youth is, it's part of, it's a huge part of our society and it moves the world in some sense. 
So having that positive impact on the youth is one of the greatest things you can do as a human being, and he's done that very well. Oh yeah, Ken's made a huge impact on the community. He's Just because he's been around so long, I think there's so many things he's done. And he has such a memorable character that um, the people that meet him can't forget him. Ken takes the cross-country team and like, he kind of turns us into a family. And I think that's the best way to solve it. Can you tell me about your time in the Peace Corps? Well, the Peace Corps, we were the first wave of what we call the good guys for Kennedy that gave his speech at the University of Michigan right over here at the Student Union. And <clears throat> I had already been in the service in the Army through ROTC and uh, it just seemed listening to Kennedy that it was it was time to do something and I felt that you know people just like today a lot of people just wonder well feel helpless or whatever and I looked at the Peace Corps as a chance to uh, do something other than just for myself and uh, so I went to Iran in the Middle East and it was some ups and downs but it was it was a great experience the biggest challenge I ever faced, quite possible, there have been many, but the Peace Corps was one of them where I saw problems and things that weren't good in the environment and the culture, and I felt that I knew how to make them better, to fix them, and I was willing to work to fix them and go at it a hundred percent and then have to realize that because of religion restrictions or whatever that maybe I couldn't uh, fix what I saw as inequalities for women inequalities in education for the poor same problems that we have in our society but the problems will always be there and I think again uh, we don't give up the fight we keep uh, striving to make things better for everybody. Who are your heroes? Heroes? Uh, well, I had a college teammate, Cliff Cushman, who was part of the uh, 400 meter hurdle sweep in the Olympics at Rome, and he was shot down in Vietnam, but he was one of my heroes. And then one of my best friends I worked with at camp for many years died unexpectedly at age 41. But he, we have a philosophy at camp, God or nature first, other people second, me, I come third, called the I'm third philosophy. And Ross Freeland lived that, walked the talk, and so he was another one of my heroes. What do you hope that cross country runners learn from you? I think that many uh, kids today, as in all times, uh, take a lot of things for granted and don't like to work too hard. But running, especially distance running, requires a lot of focus, a lot of dedication, uh, a lot of perseverance. Uh, achievements and rewards don't come overnight. You have to work at it for a long time. So I think that's what I would like my, my guys to learn. And that working hard doesn't guarantee success, but it gives you the chance that success is possible. That's what we kind of strive for. Who is Kent to you? I would say that Kent is a mentor to me. One of my biggest role models outside of my family. Coach, teacher, parent, he's a leader. Like a role model to me. To me, he was definitely a mentor. In many ways, he's like a second father to me. He's more than just a coach. He's just like an incredible man.